Welcome back to another video. My name is Jacob. This is Trade Happy, a platform for traders around the world to be happy and consistently profitable. And in today's video, um, another one from our live streams. If you guys are looking to join our live streams, we do it Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. till 10 a.m. UK time. Um, we go over news, we go over analysis, we do trade reviews in terms of looking at people's trades that people send into the Discord uh, community, and we review those trades for you guys. Um, tips and tricks, Q and A. If you have um, any kind of interest in trading, you need to join those live streams because they're really, really good. Um, and this is kind of a tip and trick that Hassan went over um, in the last stream, basically around kind of simplicity with trading, um, some advice for beginner traders, and also how having one thing that you do really, really well is better than having um, a few things that you do okay. Um, and this is, you know, either trading one strategy really, really well before adding another strategy, um, adding one currency pair before adding another currency pair. Um, really, really important. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the video. If you do enjoy it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, so my rant for the day, okay? If you're new to trading and um, you wanna be consistently profitable, uh, you, I'll give you a bit of advice don't look and learn everything okay don't look at a thousand and one strategies and try learn them all don't try to understand what EMAs do what wedges do what double tops do what engulfings are what pin bars are um, I don't know uh, break and retest strategy scalping strategy um supply and demand don't worry about learning all this stuff okay because i'll be honest with you i've spent the last what six years seven years in and i've learned so much stuff and it's a burden it's a hinder because let's say i'm gonna take a trade um I will actually show you on my chart something. Let's say I'm going to take a sell here. A, a bit random. I'll be looking at this and thinking, actually, I'm going to delete all this off. I am going to show you guys something. Let me do bar replay. Check this out. I'm going to take a trade on this candle here because of a system I've learned, right? But because I've learned so many different things, I can see about three or four different things here, right? One, I can see a trend to the downside. Two, I can see this could potentially be an ABCD pattern. Three, I can see this could be a double bottom formation. And then a buying opportunity. Breakout as well, because it's close below those lows. Yep, close below the lows. Okay, breakout. Check this out. I can see a head and shoulders pattern. Yeah? Yeah. So, there's just uh, how many things have I just mentioned there? Five things? Yeah. Yeah. Looking at one trade. I want to sell this market and I've seen five different things. Now in my head, what I'm trying, what I'm thinking is, well, what one do I take? One tells me buy, double bottom telling me to take a buy. I've got head and shoulders pattern telling me to take a sell. I've got break telling me to take a sell. And you start confusing yourself. Because you've learned all this stuff for what? Now you don't know what to take. They've all got high probability chance of being right. They've almost probably got over 50% chance of being right, 60% chance, and now you don't know what one to take. 
So my rant for the day, my tip and trick for the day is can't, try to learn one thing and master that one thing because then what will happen is is when you start trading that one specific thing you won't identify a head and shoulders pattern you won't identify a double top double bottom uh, a, a, a tea cup and handle or whatever they call it a flag pattern, a wedge pattern okay but right, yeah look here's the thing talking about a flag pattern oh there you go look there's a flag pattern yeah do you see where i'm going with this mm -hmm. so you take one system okay there's so many things that work most of them do actually work it's just about how you apply it when you apply it and your money management behind it Pick it, master it, really uh, get to understand it, and then just go forward with that, okay? And don't try to learn everything because you'll only ruin your trading. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's also the same with currency pairs. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people will have like 15 different currency pairs. Obviously, yeah. if that's their trading strategy, then fine, whatever. But for the majority, it's not. It's just kind of, it's, if I have more currency pairs, then I can trade more, so I can make more. Yep. When it's normally the opposite. Yep. The less currency pairs you have, the better. Um, and that's the same thing with you, like, you're trading one currency pair. Mm hmm At the moment. And it's going well. Yeah, I mean, even though I didn't take this trade okay we come to the live stream and where was this candle this candle was up in here right mm -hmm. and i said to you this is where i'm predicting the market to go this would be my target area look at where the market's gone i haven't taken the trade but i'm right yeah same because with my I'm GU. sorry same with my gu trade it's moving now yeah, the, it, look, it's halfway to your target. So mm -hmm. I should be chuffed and pat myself on the back that I'm predicting where the market's going. All right, I didn't enter the trade. Who cares? I know, I I know, I've got a high probability chance that I'm going to be able to get um, predict where the market's going, and that's most of the battle done. The entry is just a minor little thing. Mm -hmm. 